So now let's look at the next question. And this question has got this as a y given to you. And you're supposed to find the n to differentiation or y n. Let's see how we can do that. Okay, the first thing that you will notice here that it is, a, there, this is a product of two terms. And we really don't have any formula as such for the product. Or maybe we can simplify this question a little bit. Let's see what we can do. I have log of a by b. Okay, I can always simplify that. So let's write like that. y is equal to x. This is log of x minus 1 minus log of x plus 1. So I have expanded this. Okay. And if I decide to open this bracket, so this will this x will get multiplied here and here as well. Okay. And well, still I don't have any, any of this in the standard form whatsoever. So in this case, what I can do is I can simply differentiate this. Okay. I'll have to use u into v product tool and differentiate this y. Let's see what happens. So if I differentiate this, I will get the first derivative y1. It is going to be, well, let's do u into v format here u as it is derivative of this is going to be 1 upon x minus 1 then uh, log of x minus 1 as it is and derivative of x is just going to be 1 that will just go away and then next is uh, this term here there is a minus don't forget that and then again u into v is going to give me x as it is the derivative of this is going to be 1 upon x plus 1 and uh, plus log of x plus 1 as it is and derivative of x is just going to be 1 Okay, so I've got the first derivative already and uh, well, let me just write this down once again. I got y1 is equal to, this is x upon x minus 1, this term plus log of x minus 1 minus x upon x plus 1, this minus will appear here as well. This is going to be log of x plus 1 isn't it? So once I get this term, uh, please notice that for both of these values, I have the direct formula. I can write down log of uh, ax plus b very easily. But then I really don't have any of the formula for this term and this term. So I have to simplify this more, right? Especially these two terms, right? So for that, I can easily do that, right? I can just write down x minus 1 and plus 1. That is an adjustment. If I do that adjustment and I club these two and if I break it down here, okay, I'll do that here, x plus 1 and minus 1 and I'll club these two and I'll break it down here. So if I write like that, I think it's going to get all simplified. So y1 is going to be, okay, this term upon this term is going to give me 1. Then this is plus 1 upon x minus 1. Then this is plus log of x minus 1. Then this is minus x plus 1 upon x plus 1 is going to give me 1. And then this is plus 1 upon x plus 1 and minus log of x plus 1, isn't it? And if you see, okay, this minus 1 and plus 1 is cancelling out. And now every term, like all four of them are in the standard format. And I can write down their... Uh, nth differentiation directly. So let's write down now nth differentiation. So if I do nth differentiation here, I will get this. Now understand this is already y1. And now you're doing n more differentiation. And in that case, this will become y of n plus 1. So write down y of n plus 1. Okay, let's write down derivatives one by one. First is going to be minus 1 raised to n, n factorial x minus 1. That's the derivative of 1 upon ax plus b. So I got that one. Then next is plus, now I want to write down the derivative of log of x minus 1. I don't know if you remember this. If I have to write down the derivative of log of x minus 1, it is going to be minus of minus 1 raised to n. And then this is n minus 1 factorial upon x minus 1, or oh, even this is n plus 1. And now this is n. And for this term, it is plus minus 1 raised to n, n factorial x plus 1 raised to n plus 1. Correct? Okay? And for this one here, this is going to be minus of, that minus of minus will make it plus. This minus will become plus. And minus 1 raised to n, n minus 1 factorial, like how I did here. Okay? And then this is x plus 1 raised to n, isn't it? 
and maybe you can take some minus one raise to n term common from here but this is pretty much the answer that you've got hey but then there is one more point that we've got right now what we've got is like y of n plus one and the question we are supposed to find out y of n so if you you have to restore this y of n plus one back to y of n and how would you do that so here you will put n is equal to n minus one so on on both the sides in the entire expression just put n is equal to n minus one and as soon as you do that everything will get reduced okay okay so let's do that quickly here uh this when i put n as n minus one this minus one and plus one will cancel out i just get y of n and here this will be minus one raised to minus n minus one which will be minus of minus one raised to n this is n minus one factorial just replace all over this is going to be x minus one raised to n right this plus one will get cancelled out plus the next is going to be okay this term becomes minus over here oh no and then minus one raised to n minus one is going to make it going to make it plus again i hope you get that part minus one raised to n then this is n minus two factorial upon x minus one raised to n minus one i'm just replacing all n by n minus one so let me quickly do that and write down the final answer this will become minus this is minus one raised to n n minus one factorial upon x plus one raised to n and i'll put this this will become minus of minus one raised to n n minus two factorial and this is x plus one raised to n minus one is that correct now that's the final answer okay just please verify if everything is correct and just see plus or minus sign please understand there is there is one point that you have to note here that if you have minus one raised to n minus one okay this value is going to be minus of minus one raised to n okay i explained this part already and it's no big deal also just remember that this thing has worked perfectly while re while reducing this from here to here and finally we got the value of y of n for this question an important question you just have to be real careful it's usually asked in exam quite a few